Hey guys, you are watching my um, drugstore foundation face routine. Um, it's perfect for summer. It's nice and light, nothing too thick or heavy on your face. In the summer, you want a nice light coverage and everything like that. So keep watching, and if you want, you can do this look, and you can send it as a video or, um, response down below. That'd be really cool, or let me know how it worked out for you. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do is conceal any blemishes or redness with a concealer. And I'm using Physicians Formula Gentle Cover Concealer. And this one is in Fair. And I'm just going to take a little on my finger like this. And put it on any areas that I have redness or spots. Just going to do that. So like pretty much all over your face, <clears throat> if you're like me. And you just want to pat it on and then kind of blend it out a little bit. You don't want to rub on it, otherwise you will be wearing away the concealer and you will be doing absolutely nothing. So just go ahead and pat it all in. Oh, and by the way, I started with the freshly washed and moisturized moisturized face. Um, you're gonna want to use like something with the SPF in it, a moisturizer. Um, if you're especially if your foundation doesn't have one in it, and mine doesn't. I'm using Rimmel Lasting Finish, 16 hour, and my color is 100 Ivory. Um, I just recently discovered this foundation, and I love it. So the review will be in the down. It's gonna take a pretty big dollop on the back of my hand. I'm going to grab a sponge first. I'm using one of these little wedge sponges because I don't have a stippling brush. A stippling brush would probably work better and then you can clean it and stuff but these things you can use, uh, I try to use like every little spot it's about four or five times you could probably use one of these unless you want to wash it which is kind of gross but yep. So I'm just going to take a little of my finger and I'm going to like pat it on and kind of rub, rub it in, and then I'm going to take the sponge, and I'm just going to kind of pat and blend, and this gives it a nice, like, airbrushed finish to the foundation, and I'm just going to do that all over my face. Don't want to blend it in too much, I'm just going to pat and blend. If you wanted an even lighter coverage, because this is about a medium coverage, you could mix it with your moisturizer and you'll get like a tinted moisturizer kind of thing going. And that would be really perfect for summer because it's nice and light. But I find that this is pretty light too. You can't really feel it. And it doesn't really go anywhere once it's on this foundation. It's pretty good stuff. Recommend checking it out. Just keep patting and blending. And then don't forget your neck. Because you don't want any kind of weird line thing going on. Even if your foundation matches your face, it's color. You want to continue that down. I'm going to do my nose. You don't need a whole lot for your nose. Just kind of want to get some on there. Go with your sponge again. Keep doing the same pat blend motion. Forget to go underneath your eyes too, especially if you have any um, dark under eye circles. Kind of want to do that pat and blend. Um, and this one I found to be pretty water resistant, so definitely check out my review. The down bar. And then, of course, your forehead. Just kind of keep doing that, and I'll be right back. And next up is blush. This is NYC um, Your Colors Blushable Cream Stick. And this one is in Berry New Yorker. Number 649U. And it's just a nice, cool cream stick. It's kind of like the NARS Multiple. I guess it's kind of a dupe for that. So you're just going to want to take it um, on your finger, like this. Or you could apply it with a stick and just kind of pat like that. 
and then blend and then you're just going to want to kind of blend it in where you would even put your right where you would normally put your blush so nothing too fancy and I like um, cream blushes in the summer because they almost melt into your skin and they stay on a lot better than a powder especially if you are using a liquid foundation um, so I'm just going to pat and blend it in there we go then that's the blush to blush you can go ahead and set your whole face or just your t-zone with the translucent powder but I'm going to skip that because I want more of a dewy finish. Um, the translucent powder is just going to give you more of a matte finish and it's going to help your foundation stay on a lot better. So I'm just going to kind of stick, skip that one. And I'm going to grab my bronzer. This is NYC Sun to Sun and Terracotta Tan. I'm probably just going to stay with the lighter color because the dark one's kind of scary. And you're just going to want to take a big fluffy brush for this and go in the color that kind of is more towards your skin tone. It's gonna kind of go in the cheeks with it and kind of go into the neck. I'm gonna blend the foundation and my neck together so that there's not line between my face. But then just right up on your temples wherever the sun would kind of naturally hit your face. I'm gonna do that. And then, of course, down your nose, right there, very lightly, so you don't want to look orange or fake or whatever. And if you want to do a little contouring, you can take the darker color and a smaller, more angled brush, like this one, nice and fluffy, and very lightly go in the darker color. And then kind of, I like to do that kind of look not really a full fish face because otherwise I end up with bronzer like way down here because my cheekbones are really high so just kind of go like that kind of move your face in a little bit and go right underneath the cheekbone very lightly because you don't want anything weird going on <laughs> nice light contour Bones too, or your temple too. It's a little bit. It's gonna go in right in this part. Very lightly though. You don't want anything too strange going on. Make it look kind of natural. And then what you're gonna do is take a like bookie brush or a big fluffy brush like this one and just kind of blend that so you don't have a line or anything. Just kind of blend it. That's it for like the face and foundation part. Um, now I'm going to do my eyebrows with the Physicians Formula the Brow Definer. It's like a retractable pencil. And I like to just kind of fill in where my brows are kind of thin or where they kind of end. And inside. Very lightly. You don't want to look too crazy in the summer. Like you have perfect brows because they might come off if you get wet. So don't do too much. And then just kind of comb through it to kind of blend the colors. And I like to set my brows so the hairs don't move around and all that stuff with a clear brow, brow gel. This one's Maybelline's Great Lash Clear Mascara. And this is used for brows and for your eyelashes. It's got a really small brush, which is perfect. Just want to kind of comb through your brows like that. Holds them in place and holds that color in place. And then I'm just going to finish off this look with a lip balm. Um, I don't have one with the SPF in it, I don't think, so I'm just going to use the EOS lip balm in Summer Fruit. Put a little on.